Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. And evidently, I've got thoughts galore tonight. I'm coming at you rapidly, but it's because I'm making up for that time that we missed together today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you're absolutely delighted over the whole thing. Um, yeah, I was thinking of something a minute ago when I was taking care of my nasal disorder. I used to think that I got my open-minded weirdness kind of from... My father, and I think I did a little bit, although he was closed-minded about some things. But now that I reflect upon it, I think honestly that my mother is a really open-minded individual. I will say this. My mother wants to think the best of people, and she she's 90. She finds it difficult sometimes to accept. She's always known that war was a racket and things like that. She's reading the Smedley Butler book, War's a Racket. And, also, the Miko Pellet book at the same time, she's almost done. The General's Son and the Wars Racket. She's always known that, don't get me wrong. And she thinks that, you know, when I grew up with her, she had told me that it was her impression always that we kind of knew that Pearl Harbor was going to unfold and let it happen to get into the war and stuff like that. So I guess she sort of put the curiosity gene in me or what have you. So, I, anyhow, she does want to think the best of people. And so some of this. It gets to be, I don't want to say upsetting for her, but disappointing to her when she learns kind of the shenanigans that go on behind the scenes. Like, she thought that that Gorsuch guy, the Supreme Court dude, the new one, was just, you know, super nice looking and, you know, tremendous and didn't really... She wants to think the best of people. I don't know what else to say, but getting back to the open-minded thing... Mother is the, I mean, she's watched all these documentaries with me that certain people, not mentioning names, won't watch with me. Not even like, um, oh, Oliver Stone, oh, there's Zoe, a history, uh, the real history of the United States. She didn't watch that, but she's watched all kinds of fun documentaries like the Gore Vidal, United States of Amnesia, and all kinds of stuff. And then she even watched one night that Dr. Stephen Greer, the UFO guy, um, I went over and projected this documentary onto her television. I didn't realize it would, like, take hold, take hold when I went home. I went home, and I said, we'll finish this up tomorrow. She was so enthralled with it, with the UFO thing, that she stayed up late that night till 10 and watched the whole thing. And she's just really open-minded to... Because she knows that I'm not necessarily falling for everything that's put in front of me. But she, I think, appreciates that I look into it, and it's just... it. Op I think... When you look into so-called conspiracy theories, as strange as they may be, even the flat earth or whatever, I think that it just helps you develop as a person because it opens your mind to different ideas, makes you think about things in a different way. So along our way to the Wally Hyde gig today, I was telling Mother about that actor-based reality and stuff and how I've been looking into it, and she was perfectly fine with it. Didn't think I was, you know, needing to go to a counselor or anything and oh look at zoe she is so precious in fact let's just focus on her for the rest of the video yeah so i mean she didn't judge me or think i was a nut bar or indicate well she knows i'm a nut bar indicate that i needed mental health look at that it was just like well that's really interesting i mean some of it is interesting like the the george w bush is really charlie manson and all it's just bizarre and it I think it opens your mind to be able to think that maybe this isn't all as it seems or something like that you know it's not necessary I don't totally believe it or any of that don't get me wrong but I think it just leads to a healthier mind in my opinion and I think it's really adorable that my mother is supportive and she she would totally watch a, a documentary about probably whatever as long as it didn't have the f word in it we'd be good okay ladies and gentlemen that's all lounging with lisa the video series that has zoe zoe signing off okay that is literally perpetual in the kitchen that's how he talks to the animals oh my god i hope this picked up love you bye